All right, so this first question we're going to go over is this. So a physics book is falling at 3 meters per second. It has a mass of 10 kilograms. And the question is, how much kinetic energy does it have? So um, we'll draw a diagram first. So we'll have our physics book. Go ahead and do this on your own paper while I'm doing it up here. Okay, and it's falling. Okay, it's going this way. And it's falling at 3 meters per second, meters per second. All right, it has a mass of 10 kilograms. Cool, and the reason why I want you to draw the diagrams, and you'll see later, some of these, the diagram will very, very much affect the outcome of the problem. All right, if you don't draw a diagram and visualize it, you'll have trouble with the problem. So, um, find known values. So kinetic energy, we don't know that. We're trying to find out how much it has. Um, a mass of 10 kilograms, so I'll put 10 kilograms right here. And then it's falling at 3 meters per second, so velocity 3 meters per second. Okay, plug in values. So we've got Ke, or kinetic energy, equals 1 half mv squared. So we'll plug them in. We still don't know kinetic energy, so that stays. So Ke equals 1 half. And then my mass is 10 kilograms. And I'll put that in parentheses. And then my velocity is 3 meters per second. And you square that. All right. This is a little bit more complicated um, algebraically than the potential energy question because you have something squared and then you multiply it by half. So we'll go through it step by step. So recopy it down here. So kinetic energy equals 1 half. And then we've got 10 kilograms times 3 meters per second squared. So, um, first thing you do, PEMDAS, okay, parentheses, exponent. The first thing we do is we take care of this exponent. So 3 squared is equal to, that's 3 times 3, all right, which equals 9. Okay, we'll put that in parentheses still, 10 kilograms, also in parentheses, a one half, also, and then Ke. Okay, um, the rest of this is pretty easy. Uh, we can do either one first, it doesn't matter. I recommend you find the easiest path to the answer. Since this is all multiplication, it doesn't matter which one we multiply first. Two times three and three times two, both equal six. Does not matter which order you multiply them in. All right, so let's just do 1 half times 10 because that looks like the easiest thing to me. What's 1 half of 10? 5, right? Um, so now we've got 5 and times 9. And what's 5 times 9? 45. So in the end, we've got Ke equals 45. And I'm going to put a box around that because this is just way too many numbers for me. So at the end, the answer with units. So I've got Ke equals 45, and what are my units for energy? Joules. joules, perfect. 45 joules. That's it.